If you want to know why Saskatoon's real estate market is making a major comeback in this coming year, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm diving into the key trends driving this shift and how you can take advantage of it, whether you're buying, selling, or building. We'll cover everything from pricing trends to hidden opportunities that most people are missing. And if you are thinking to buy, sell, invest, or relocate in Saskatoon, send me an email. My info is in the description below. The market downturn fears are easing in Saskatoon and consumer confidence is rebounding. Buyers are optimistic in spite of the rate hikes in previous months. Sellers are sensing favorable market conditions, which is leading towards a slight increase in inventory. And there's becoming more of a balance between buyers and sellers in the marketplace, which is driving a really good, strong activity. Inventory, however, is still 50% down below long-term trends as of last month. There's only a 1.6 month supply of product on the market, which does lead to a tight market where homes generally sell quickly. The strong buyer demand continues to constrain the market despite new listings. And the benchmark price is right around 406, which is a 7% year over year increase. Sellers do have a unique opportunity to sell in these conditions and buyers do need to act quickly when a property pops up onto the market. Buyers do seem to be adapting to interest rate hikes a lot faster than what we had predicted. And Saskatoon's affordable home prices do seem to help buffer against those pressures. Sales levels in Saskatoon are 20% above the 10-year average, showing continued strong demand and creative financing solutions such as adjustable rate mortgages and locking in your interest rates, as well as looking at the amortization, are helping buyers navigate these higher rates. There's been a steady growth in prices across Saskatoon where detached home prices are up about 4% year over year, whereas row houses and townhouses are up about 11%, which speaks to the demand for affordability. Pricing overall, however, is stabilizing after past corrections, offering a balanced market for buyers and sellers. Slow, consistent growth in neighborhoods like Nutana and Varsity View reflect a healthy recovery. New industries like tech, healthcare, and education are creating jobs which are fueling a lot of this housing demand. And because of Saskatoon's affordability and job growth, both local, out-of-province, and out-of-country buyers have been attracted to Saskatoon. There's been over 6,000 international immigrants that have arrived in Saskatchewan in the first quarter of this year, which does drive a lot of housing demand, and in the upcoming months months and years as well. And first time home buyers are re-entering the market after sitting it out due to some of the volatility recently. An increase in home renovations also signals homeowner confidence in long-term values. Low rental vacancy rates also push renters into home ownership. Development permits and rising construction activity indicate future growth in Saskatoon. These trends support Saskatoon's long-term market health. Families do seem to be increasingly opting for multi-generational homes, boosting demand for larger properties. And developers do seem to cater to this demand with new developments offering flexible layouts, typically with more bedrooms, bathrooms, and kitchen suites. The migration from other provinces such as BC and Ontario does also fuel demand for luxury homes with buyers who are seeking better value when compared to these other more expensive cities. Saskatoon's luxury market is resilient with consistent demand for homes priced over $800,000, which in comparison is a very affordable rate for properties in the upper end. Properties in desirable neighborhoods such as Greenbrier and the Willows are seeing steady interest due to a tight market of inventory and competitive prices pricing. If you are thinking of buying, selling, relocating, or investing, please do send me an email. My info is in the description below. Otherwise, hope you found some value. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I will see you 
in this video next.